got some Herculiner truck bed liner that I bought and the application of this is going to be a little uh, shed playhouse structure thing. Um, we've kind of primed the little deck area. Let me scoot back and show you what it looks like here. So I am going to be applying that up on that platform up there, hopefully to seal it up really nice so that uh, it doesn't leak. Um, one thing I've done is installed uh, the trim piece along the bottom. I used LP Smart Side and uh, put a drip edge underneath uh, the trim piece and put uh, a piece of plywood over top of, I have some tongue and groove board beneath this plywood. Um, just I didn't extend the first layer out far enough so I kind of put a layer on top but it worked out because I was able to get the drip edge under there and line everything up. Over on this side I'm not doing a drip edge just because I have a little bit of uh, the roof covering it from the rain so I'm going to apply the uh, the Herky liner over the top of this drip drip edge you know kind of paint it out along that edge and over on this trim piece a little bit so I'm going to be taping that off so I can roll it on there um, but let me show you this Herky liner kit and what it comes with. I have a little battery issue here but I'm back so inside of this uh, Herky liner kit we have a scuff brush I guess for scuffing up the bed of a truck the uh, instruction manual we have a paintbrush we have a roller um, and another roller well I guess the roller uh, with probably a handle in there I imagine yeah. handle to the roller and the actual product itself. The Herky liner product. So what I'm going to do is put the camera down and probably tape off the drip edge um, and just kind of prep the area. So I'll be back. Alright, uh, some of the other things that is recommended by the Herky liner folks is uh, to mix up the Herculiner, uh, one of these dandy things to mix it up uh, with a drill. Um, so, and also some chemical or some gloves. It says rubber gloves in the instruction manual. I went with the chemical resistant gloves, whatever that means. Then uh, xylol, or however you say that, xylene, xylol. Um, I guess that's kind of the component or I guess you can thin out turkey liner with that stuff, but it's it's what's used to clean it up and you are not supposed to use paint thinner, I guess. Or mineral spirits or anything else like that. Xylol is it, if I'm saying that right. And just to point out again, I am very novice and never used this product before, so uh, you guys can maybe learn from my mistakes. Um, and then also some rags in case it drips. Um, since I recorded So like I was saying, I'm having uh, battery issues. My batteries are all dying, but... I applied some uh, some masking tape along there and then over here too because I'm going to paint this stuff over the edge to hopefully get a nice uh, watertight seal on this thing. I'll probably go up there and caulk when I'm all done. Well, it's now the next day and uh, let's look how this thing's looking so far. Looking pretty good, ready for another coat. Thank you.